time of uh, 23.59 and this is the binary clock that I just finished building today. Uh, so this is pretty much the moment of truth if it'll roll over correctly at midnight. Um, this is the first time that I'm confirming that. <clears throat> All the LEDs should uh, go back to the off position. Yep, there it goes. So anyway, if I uh, look inside... It's not real organized, but it works. Um, basically, it's just a crystal oscillator uh, which controls six, um, six binary counters that keep track of the the seconds, minutes, and hours. Um, uh, so at the right, these are the seconds here, and then the minutes, and then the hours. Um, the first, the bottom row here is the, um, uh, represents one, the next row is two, the third row is four, and then the top row is eight. Um, uh, since these uh, columns here uh, only need to go up to five before they reset, uh, they don't need the eight position. Um, and then since it resets at 24, it only needed two here. Uh, but yeah, anyway, it's uh, there's no way to set the time yet, so it's been running since last midnight, so it uh, seems to be working properly. Uh, the hardest part is, you know, making sure that it uh, resets back to the uh, to midnight, which it seems to be doing. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, these LEDs are 470 uh, 470 nanometers, so it's a nice blue color.